Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Rat from Rat Tarot, and in this whole video, we're going to look into Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and also Gemini Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. And in this video, I'm going to use the Elemental Dignities technique, uh, which will allow me to read cards in uh, pairs, combos, so to speak, and the course for Elemental Dignities, it's already up and running. Right now it's on sale for $40 with it. Uh, you're going to receive a uh, one hour lecture of video on how to use or what the method is, how it is formed, and also a few examples with it. And also the course, it's uh, running with a PDF handbook for you. And uh, if you are uh, interested in a personal reading though, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And if you don't want to miss any of uh, our weekly uploads and also the live streams where you can participate into a free reading contest, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. So with that being set aside, uh, moving straight away to the Gemini weekly reading, the first card you do have Gemini, that is going to be the Devil card, followed by the second one here, which is the Prime card, by the way, that it will be the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, the third card of yours is going to be the uh, Seven of Cups. And uh, the last card, the last Prime card of your spread, that will be the Three of Pentacles. There are going to be four more cards, which are catalysts to these four, but just hold on a second, like that, okay, so you can see them. So these four cards, and uh, the, the week for you, Gemini, is going to start in a very explosive fashion. Uh, the circumstances are going to align just right, so whatever you are planning at that point is going to simply become seizable or, or how can I say accomplishable so to speak but right after that so it seems that the paste is going to slow down a bit because you will have that nagging thought is are things really worth it to be executed or to even be seized so that will be a volunteer uh, uh, or a voluntarily a, a slow of pace from your behalf to kind of like um take a break a little bit and also to think to uh, how, how can I say to um, establish the worthwhile of your deeds and uh, that and, and that will be for a reason being because at uh, this stage of the week which are going to be towards the early stages of the week you will recognize some kind of danger and simultaneously some kind of an opportunity that you are going to seek to develop that will happen towards the end of the week that seek to develop and um, it will be a search for a support and search for a uh, how can I say uh, a search for a yeah, support through development of your behalf. So uh, let's scrutinize the reading here. The first card that uh, uh, the first card we do have that will be the um, oh my god that will be the devil followed by uh, or catalyzed by the star card and now things are making more sense than before. So we do have a passive enemies. And yeah, while the circumstances are to align in a very good fashion for you to get what you want by that point, the situation will become like a, a toddler situation. You know, when they want that toy so much, they, they just cannot sleep, they cannot eat, you know, they cannot think for anything else. And as soon as they get the toy, they are bored by it. Uh, it's the same thing we do have here. The star card and the devil. While you do have the power to seize, for example, the, 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 the client you wanted by now. To seize the love you wanted by now. To seize the, the job even that you have wanted by now. Once you do so, you will see that it is not as as great as you thought it, it, it was simply not as, as, as efficient as you want it was not as beautiful as you want it and i know that this is not going to be faced very well you know because 
what I have been told constantly, it is that negativity doesn't sell. But it is what we do in this channel. We do not sugarcoat things. So that, that's pretty much what these two cards are saying. It is that, yes, you can go for what you want. You can satiate that hunger, that toddler hunger that dwells within us all the time. But it's not going to fulfill your ideals. It's not going to fulfill your criteria. It's not going to be the end of the journey for you at all. Okay. It's just, it's not going to be. And uh, the profitable client that you may thought you are getting, it will turn out not to be as efficient as you may thought. The unfolding law of you may thought you are gaining, it's not going to be as beautiful as you may thought and so on and so forth. And it is exactly what is going to cause you to slow down the pace as we have here with the seven of pentacles. Uh, followed by the King of Pentacles, okay, and the, we do have a passive supporters here towards the middle of the week, and this is uh, the redirection of investments from one thing that it is not worth it anymore to another thing that it is worth it, and we can see that going forward with the next card, but here it is uh, that... Um, well, basically what is going to happen at that stage, it is that there is an event which is going to start lurking behind the corner, having nothing to do with that yearning here that you have just completed. Okay, this is a new event and that new event will require investment, either emotional investments, you know, either a financial investments, time investments, skill investments, whatever. And uh, because it will require investment, you are going to start deliberating or contemplating, you name it how much you are willing to invest so you do not overperform or so you do not overkill the thing, but you in the same time, you do not want to underperform or underinvest. Invest. So it's going to be a very, very important time of scaling up how involved you want to be into this endeavor here of investment. Most likely it is to be proposed to you from a somebody else. And uh, right after, uh, right after that, the Seven of Cups takes place, and it is accompanied by uh, the Seven of Swords. We do have these two, a uh, passive neutrals, and uh, it's a moment where you will realize that you cannot do it by yourself. No man does things by themselves. Not just only that, but it's when when the situation involves more than just one person. Okay, it has to be something for everybody. You cannot, you cannot be the only beneficiary there, nor the other person or they can be the only beneficiary out there. And for that, the pace is going to be slow, even at that stage. But the prospect of this uh, romantic endeavor, for example, the prospect of this job, the prospect of this client now reshaped in a way that it is worth it from a way that it was not worth it, it will be a very, very good prospect. But still, that prospect is going to be like the mother's dreams for her children. Is it a fantasy or seeds growing yet remain to be of knowing? And for that reason, at these late stages of the week, you would prefer not to stray, but rather tread carefully and uh, be more grounded than flying into the cloud nine because there are going to be, uh, how can I say, aspects where a, a great mistakes could be done and these mistakes are going to disappoint everybody, all right? And because they are going to disappoint everybody, you are going to take one thing at a time so you do not make any mistakes, so you do not end up disappointed. In case you do end up disappointed, that disappointment is not going to ruin the thing. It is just going to bounce you back uh, two steps backward, but you can catch up very, very quickly. And the final card here, it is the Three of Pentacles, and it is accompanied by the Death card. So we do have a passive uh, friend. And uh, <laughs> end of the week for you, Gemini, it's the moment where you are, like I said, to seek a support of your development, but it's going to be a new support. It's not going to be an old one. It's not going to be uh, a support from the same people you have seek by now, say money or emotional or, or even a, how do you call it, a... Um, Oh my God, spiritual, not spiritual support. I just forgot the word. Um, moral, 
a moral support, even if that's the case. And uh, this is no different than seeking new clients, new social circles to find love into, you know, not trying into the same social circle, not trying with the same friends. Uh, in our country, we do have an, an expression for it. And this is that if you do decide to open up a new brothel, you cannot do it with the old workers into it. Okay, you just cannot. You have to hire a new ones. And that is the same case here. You want to go for this new investment, new opportunity. You got to do it with a new resources, new people, okay, new environments, and again, a new resources, which will uh, force you in a position where uh, you will have to uh, let go of certain stuff, let go of certain habits, let go of certain people, even some relationships as well, but it will be necessary. And I'm explaining the death card into my tarot classes, why this isn't a bad thing. It may be a difficult at the start, but it is not a bad thing. Death card, I love the death card, guys. And it is, uh, this is the, uh, the strophe for the death card. What is um, change if it is not a one life begins while another one is ending? And what is life if it isn't a death pending, right? So everything is in in turnover and the, the new friends will become old and so on and so forth. So you should not be afraid to seek a new resources, new friends, new romantic potentials, new jobs. So with that being said, that was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, Gemini. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And we are to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.